Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we shall discuss about negative marking. Negative marking in NEET and JE. I hate negative marking. Thousands of NEET and JE aspirants whom I have met in the past, all of them hate negative marking. I have not come across even one student who says he or she has enjoyed negative marking during their NEET or JE exams. Why? Negative marking will bring in sense of fear. A constant fear while you are in an examination situation. And fear of penalty. Which means what? Even if you do a small mistake, you are awarded with a negative marking. And the students always are apprehensive while they approach a question paper. This means there is always a thought that something may go wrong with a small mistake. And also students are under constant stress and anxiety. Because of negative marking, they are discouraged to attempt more and more questions. And also it demotivates a student who wanted to take risk. All these feel actually puts down a student when the negative marking is there in any examination. Is it good for a student? Definitely no. But why still the authorities who frame the question paper also have a pattern of including negative marks? There has to be a reason, isn't it? Let us look at that. I am going to explain you the reason why negative marking is there for exams like NEET and JE. I am also going to explain it to you how negative marking is going to work in favor of you in NEET and JE situations. Just imagine in India there are about 1.6 crore students who pass out 12th grade. There are 1078 universities. An average of about 12 to 15,000 seats. All of them who pass out 12th grade, they have an opportunity to go and pursue their higher education somewhere in the country. And India has the third largest number of universities in the world. On top of that, you have the option of distance education, online programs, part-time studies and so on. Enough seats for those students who part out 12th grade. But that is not the situation while it comes to NEET and JE. If you may look at the number of students who wanted to get into IITs are more as compared to number of seats as we all know. 16 lakh students appear for JE main. Only 16,000 seats in IITs. Put together IITs, NIDs and triple IITs about 52,000 seats. And look at on the other hand what happens for NEET. There are about 21 lakh students who appear for NEET. And how many seats are there? Just 92,000 seats. The authorities are challenged. The government is challenged because they have to choose only those 90,000 deserving students out of this 21 lakh and award them seats. And the main objective is to reject all these 20 plus lakh students and to select these 90,000 plus students. This is their primary objective. It is challenging, isn't it? The reason why they have introduced negative marking in order to achieve this particular goal. Now, I also told you how negative marking will work in favor of you with respect to NEET and JE. Let us discuss that. Now, you and me appear for this exam. I am a person not prepared well enough. And I already know that each question has got four answers. I rely on luck. I have not done enough homework. I have not prepared well enough. And I rely on my work. I go to NEET examination. This is not the student to whom they wanted to award a seat, right? On the other hand, you have worked hard. You have prepared well enough and you rely on your knowledge and your caliber. And let us see what happens for both of us. Let us assume that this is me. I have not done enough homework. I have not studied well. I rely on luck and I have gone for this examination which has negative marking. Let us assume that there are 100 questions. And each question will have four answers as all of us know. Now what I'm going to do, because I rely on my luck, I'm simply going to select the answers. By law of probability, out of this 100 questions, how many would possibly become right? Because there are four options given for each question. That is 25%, which means what? By law of probability, if I make 100 attempts, there is a possibility of 25 of my questions becoming right. Now what happens? 75 of my questions becoming wrong. And in this case, 25 into 4 marks and 75 into minus 1 mark. Then what happens? 
I get to have 100 marks because of negative marking and the mistakes that I make, my total marks are only 25. On the other hand, this is you. As I told you, you have worked hard and you have put in several hundreds of hours in preparation and you rely on your knowledge and now you are in an examination situation. When the same 100 questions are asked, you don't make all the 100 questions go about attempting it because you apply your mind. You get to have only let's say 25 questions correct and you only attempt 25 questions. Now in your case, what happens? You make 25 attempts, 25 questions are correct and, and there are no wrong answers. This is because you have applied your mind and attempted only those questions where you are very sure of. Now how does your marks works out to be? 25 into 4, since there are no wrong answers, there are no negative marking. And how much do you get to score? 100. There are no negative marking and thereby the total is 100. Look at the difference. I was a person relying on my luck. I have not put in the enough hard work and effort that is required. And I come and choose questions by wild guess and I get to score only 25 by law of probability. On the other hand, you have prepared well, you rely on your knowledge and you don't risk yourself. Okay, and thereby you select and answer only those questions that you are confident about and your score is about 100. On the other hand, a person who relies on their luck is scoring only 25. And now what happens? The seats are awarded to you because you have put in that hard work and effort and you have the knowledge and the caliber in order to go about attempting this question paper very sensibly without taking risk and you get to score more. On the other hand, a student like me who have not prepared well enough and relies on luck and thereby we also get to have so many you know, negative answers and thereby I am rejected. This is what exactly happens when 21 lakh students are writing it. And what does it imply? It implies that those students who have put in hard work and effort and those students who rely on their knowledge and their caliber get to score more mark and they gain their seat. On the other hand, those students who are not sincere enough, who has not put in their effort and relying on their luck and they get to be rejected. Now you know why the negative marking is introduced. And because of negative marking, in my opinion, the negative will work positive for you. Which means what? The negative marking will work as a positive marking for those students who put in their hard work and effort. You may ask me, sir, this means what? Should I not take risk? I'm not saying that. I'm not saying you should not take risk. In fact, you must take risk. The examination itself will test your risk-taking abilities. That is included in this pattern. Have you ever come across a student just coming out of a neat examination hall and saying, I have written so well, I am going to score 720 out of 720? Nobody has said it. At least to my knowledge, I have not seen anybody coming out of a JE examination hall and saying, I am going to score 300 out of 300. But yet, they get to score 720 out of 720 and 300 out of 300. How? This is because they always have a set of questions and thereby they have taken the risk and they were unsure about it. Because of their preparation and their knowledge, whatever risk they may take will also work in favor of them. You have always seen students saying this on the result day. I expected very good marks, but definitely not 720 out of 720, but I am happy now. Also students saying that I expected good marks but definitely not 300 out of 300 but I am happy now. Because why? Those questions they took risk which they were unsure of turned out to be in their favor. So you have to take risk taking ability is a skill itself which you will practice from time to time in your life. So thereby children you have to take risk. All I am going to do it in my next video is to inform you not how to avoid negative marking but to tell you how to face negative marking and conquer the question paper and to score very high marks. Until then, thank you very much and bye-bye.